this means war. Aww, they look so peaceful and sweet and innocent when they want to, don't they? They sure are cute when they're not eating my garden. So, I thought I was doing good with their training. I got them to mostly stay out of the garden. But then this weekend, I caught them pulling my newly formed Cherokee purple tomatoes that were still green as could be off of the vine. I got quite mad. I chased them out of the garden again, but they came back when I wasn't looking and they pulled this entire cucumber vine down out of its plant and ate all of the baby cucumbers that were on it. There were like six baby cucumbers. They also pulled that one down and ate all of its babies. I've put it back up since. And right here is all that is left of the next snake gourd bean I was going to eat. It was hanging all the way down to the ground. So time to go to another level of extremes in protecting my garden. It's a step I didn't want to take because I like having an unfenced garden, but we got some bird netting and I'm going to put it around these raised beds at least so that we can at least have fall vegetables inside of the raised bed area and know that they are going to be protected because I am terrified to put out any seed right now and have them come and ruin it. It was hard enough to protect these green beans when they were germinating. And you can see this is probably damage from a duck walking through. Maybe not intentional, but just by being in here. And look, it was about to bloom. Dang ducks. But if we have to put the fabric around this again, we can if need be. I've got to get some green beans this year. And then I discovered that they ate all of my squash. There were about 15 developing fruit in this bed. And not only that, but they're whipping flowers off. And not even like, why? Why, why, why? Why waste them? It makes me wonder if they were going after bugs in the flowers. But still, come on, guys, leave my garden alone. And I know it was them because they left evidence. Ducky doo doo. Bad ducks. This means war. So I got 100 feet of bird netting. And I was a little worried it was going to be just short where I wouldn't be able to put in an entrance door. That was kind of my intention is to like make a door with it right here so that I could still go in the garden. But I thought, well, if I have to, I'll use something else for the door. But guys, so I don't have any help with me right now, but I just wanted to see if it was going to be enough. This is kind of a two person job, but I tied it to the post and I went all the way around the beds. So I didn't include those outer beds, just the raised beds. And I went all the way back there all the way back there, all the way down here, and voila, it literally is exactly long enough. I couldn't have planned it any more perfectly than that, could I? <laughs> Perfect. So now when Ryan gets off work, uh, we're going to come out here and get it properly set up and staged for a proper protection and keep these tucked out of my garden and keep them from eating all of my produce. All right, so I got my helper now. <laughs> all right, so first let's take this off of here and staple it down, starting from the bottom, so it'll be secure and flush with the ground so they won't be able to go under it. And then staple up the side, I guess. All right, so 
I would maybe say give a yeah, a couple of inches at the bottom. So loose, like below the, yeah. definitely do that. Can you move that leaf so you don't crush it? Tuck it back into the trellis because we're going to be coming over the top. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. That's good. The vine, I mean the tendrils are okay. They won't mind being smothered a little. Might confuse oh, the pollinators. Wow. Are you helping Onan? Are you the supervisor? All right, so we're gonna put a stake in the corner of the bed to support the bird netting. So this bird netting is gonna help protect from the ducks and if there were any deer that were trying to come in. Not to mention probably the cats that like to dig and uh, any groundhogs that might be still around checking us out. So it came with these little tiny zip ties. I'm guessing I can just go like this and tighten it up here and it'll stay. I'm hoping it'll be tight enough that it secures it to the pole. That's pretty good. Pretty tight. That's good. That's tight, yo. Just gonna add a couple of reinforcement staples around the edges of the raised bed just to make sure that the ducks can't lift it up either. They do provide these ground staples if I need them in certain places, but I don't think they're gonna hold in the mulch as good as the staples to the wood wood. <laughs> wood wood. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna pull it tight without hurting my cucumber plant or any of the other plants that are gonna be coming into contact with it. Tight enough that I know it's gonna stay up. I might need to put another pole like right here, halfway down the length of our garden bed. For a little extra support but I know I'm gonna want one on the corner where this wing sumac has volunteered and I am letting this wing sumac live here as the start of a uh, food forest in this area along the edge of our vegetable garden you filming Odin oh are you making a video too Wow, good job. Yeah. Oops. Upside down. I always try to put my skinnier end of my bamboo pole in the ground. Makes it easier to drive it in. It's pretty easy to drive in because this is a foot of mulch over here. All right, again, putting a pole in the corner and zip tying the netting to the pole, pulling it tight so we get the maximum use and protection for our garden.
This is uh, very simple and not complicated to put up at all. This makes me wonder why I waited so long. I don't like fences around my garden because I like to see my garden, but this is see-through so it helps. And also I like to be able to walk in between the beds, especially like for watering and stuff. It's kind of gonna be a pain now, but better than losing any more vegetables to those ducks. <laughs> Okay, so now we just need to make the door. So I'm gonna move this sweet little melon that's forming. See the baby melon? It's so cute. Isn't it so cute? The Kajori melons are finally producing female fruit and lots of fruit are being formed. Female flowers with lots of fruit being formed. There's been plenty of pollinators. Look at this little guy looking at me. Look at him. He's looking out of the flower instead of in. <laughs> Hi. Hi dear. Let me talk to you about your car insurance. Alright, all right, and I'll let you stable this up because it's taller and it's easier for your long arms to do that. Alright, so this is like the hinge of your door. So you might want to put a couple of extra staples because it'll get a little extra pulling. Um, but yeah, just basically do what you did on the other side. Did you Were you able to get all the way to the top? Yeah. Yeah, so all the way to the top is where you'll be on this side as well. And then we'll use uh, another pole as a door hinge so we can stick it in the ground when we close the door and it'll just be a door that we open and close when we need to go in and out of the garden. the door I'm just gonna pull it tight zip tight here I'm gonna go ahead and push it in right where I think it's gonna be on a regular basis when we go to close the door and then I'm just gonna zip tie at the top and then all the way down to make the door complete see this was one of the reasons why I didn't want a fence how am I gonna get to my tomatoes All right, I'm sending Ryan to go around the edges, pulling the net down as low as he can and stapling it to the beds. At least a staple or two in each bed should be plenty. And then we won't need to use those ground staples for that. We might be able to use them for something else. But I did chase the ducks out of this bean bed again today. And look, they're just coming in here and stepping on it. So I'm probably going to have to put something around the bean bed again. That's right. Just keep walking. They already have figured out that they can't get in there anymore. And they aren't even trying. <laughs> you guys are smart. I don't care what anybody says. I might have been the one to say that you weren't smart, but you figured out real fast that you couldn't get in that garden anymore. And the best part is, you can't see that fence. I love it. It's invisible. It's not altering my view at all. That makes me so happy. Looks like you cuties will get to spend a couple more months on this farm. 